Today, I'm announcing another executive order. that will accelerate and intensify this work to save more lives more quickly. First, this executive order helps keep firearms out of dangerous hands. As I continue to call on Congress to require background checks for all firearm sales. And in the meantime, in the meantime, my executive order directs my attorney general to take every lawful action possible, possible to move us as close as we can to universal background checks without new legislation. I just, it's just common sense to check whether someone is a felon, a domestic abuser, before they buy a gun. The executive order also expands public awareness campaigns about the red flag orders, laws, which my son, when he, before he died, Attorney General in Delaware, was a great proponent of an institute. So more parents, teachers, police officers, health providers, and counselors know how to flag for the a court that someone is exhibiting violent tendencies, threatening classmates, or experiencing suicidal thoughts that make them a danger to themselves and others and temporarily remove that person's access to firearms. And it promotes this executive order, safe storage of firearms, something every responsible gun owner agrees with. Second thing it does, the executive order ramps up our efforts to hold the gun industry accountable. It's the only outfit you can't sue these days. It does that by calling out for an independent government study that analyzes and exposes how gun manufacturers aggressively market firearms to civilians, especially minors, including by using military imagery. And it directs the Attorney General to public release, publicly release alcohol, tobacco, and, fam and firearms inspection reports of firearms dealers who are cited for violation of the law. That way, policymakers can strengthen laws to crack down on those illegal gun dealers 